Hello everyone, it is Monica from Yellow Brick DIY. Today I'm coming to you from my quiet, kid-free house because today my kids went back to school for the first time since November. So I thought today was a good day to make a video because it's quiet and I can concentrate finally on work. So I am going over the Valentine's tear tray kits today. Um, I'm going to show you how they come in the box, how to paint them, and how they look finished. So this video is for the XOXO tiered tray. And I'm just going to quickly show you all of the parts you get. These have already been painted, obviously. Your kit comes unpainted. But I'm going to give you some tips and show you exactly what to do so that when you are done, it looks just like mine and all these pieces that I am showing you. This is my favorite. Look how cute this is, guys. It's a dimensional Scrabble tile board. How cute, so cute. All right, let me pull this camera down and show you how it comes. Hopefully this doesn't come crashing down. Okay, here is your box. This is exactly how it comes. Oh, this camera, guys, I'm so not tech savvy. Let me move this back a little. Okay, that's better. This is how your kit comes. Everything you need is in this box. Um, this box, use it, work in it. So you don't have to line your tables with newspaper. You don't have to worry about it getting messy. Use the box. That's why I give you these um, thin little boxes. So in this kit, you're getting red, black, brown, and white paint. Feel free to mix. If you mix white and black, you get gray. If you mix white and red, you get pink. So get creative. You do not have to follow the colors the way I give them to you. If you have any acrylic paint at home and you want to add them to these kits, you can also do that. This is your material bag. You get super glue and makeup sponges. These makeup sponges make painting these kits so easy. You'll dab a sponge into some paint and you will literally wipe it onto the wood. Light coats, thin light coats, and you'll see Sometimes light colors take two or three coats to cover, but for the most part, one or two coats does the trick. If you have an intricate part like this heart, you can lay it into your box, take a makeup sponge, and just dab the paint onto it. But just remember, light, light coats. You don't want to saturate this one. Okay, so that's paint materials. You also get all of your little parts in this little bag here so that you don't lose anything. So let's start with opening this bag. Inside of here, you will have two different strings. One is long and one is short. The long string is for the banner, which all of those parts are in this bag. You have four hearts with arrows. You're going to paint those. They have holes in them. So you'll string this string across through the holes. And when you are done, it looks like this. Super cute. Also in that bag, comes little parts for this tag. What's great about these particular kits is for the first time you are getting parts that are already painted. So this heart is painted white for you and you can see lives here is engraved. That's not going anywhere. You don't have to do anything at all to it and that makes life so much easier for you. In that little bag has the word love. You'll paint that, glue it on, and a tiny little heart you'll paint that and you'll glue it on. And that's it for that tag. And then this little string here is for that. I mean, you can use it literally to put on anything at all. You can put the string on just to have it look cute if you don't want to hang it off of anything. This is how that looks when it's finished. So that's what makes this kit so easy. Some of these parts that you're getting come painted and engraved and you don't really have to do much of anything. So this heart is two pieces. You will paint the solid heart one color, paint this another, you'll glue them together. With this heart, you'll want to use this little stand. So you'll paint this, again, any color. I mean, the brown is in there for the stands. That's what I used, but you do not have to. Um, you'll paint this, and once it's dry, you'll take the slotted wood and you'll glue it. Try to get it as centered as you can. If it's not perfect, I promise you it's fine. It's not a big deal. Don't go crazy. Once that's glued, this heart sits in there show it's finished and looks like this the heart just sits because it has a flat bottom and that's how it sits on your tray which is so adorable 
you have this love is all you need. Same deal. Paint it, scored. Um, I left my hearts just as is, but if you want to get in there with a paint pen or a paintbrush, if you're feeling extra crafty, feel free to paint those hearts. That's fine. This is one solid piece, so you can paint this however you see fit. And when you are done, you'll glue it on there. And it will look like this. So easy. Next, we have this adorable shiplap board, which is painted and scored. So again, you do not have to do anything at all to this. You'll paint the word February. This is kind of thin, guys, so just be gentle with this. Paint that. You will paint your heart, glue it on there, and then you have the number one and the number four, oops, and you'll glue that on there. And when you are done, it looks like this. Now, if you wanna get really creative, you can distress this a little bit by rubbing some brown or some black paint lightly across it. If you have a baby wipe at home, that works really well for that. My crafty people, people who have been to the studio Back in the day, you know how to distress. I've taught you, I believe. So this is probably the most complicated part. Complicated, it's really not that bad. Only because it comes in four pieces. All right, so let's go over this. In my example, I chose to paint this solid square white. I painted my buffalo plaid black. You're gonna glue that together. This is your frame. I painted this brown. So then you will glue this. For the letters, you have two options. I gave you this. This will be trash when you're done with this project. It is up to you. If you are neurotic, which I am, so I understand, which is why I give you this. Before you glue this frame down, you'll hold it just like I'm doing now. You'll put this here and you see it fits perfectly. Take a pencil and trace your letters onto that buffalo plaid as well as you can. And when you lift it off, you'll see exactly where to put this L-O-V-E so that it's perfectly straight. Just don't glue the frame on until after you've traced just so that this um, cheat sheet can plop out easier. You don't want it to get stuck on there. If you are lucky enough to not be neurotic like me, you can just glue them on because it's really easy. So don't feel like you have to use the cheat sheet. You don't, whether you use it or not, when you're done, toss it out. This is just trash. But at the end, you have this really awesome, super dimensional, it's really thick when you glue all these pieces together, love buffalo plaid sign, which I do love me some buffalo plaid. You have your stands that come with the kit. You'll paint these, paint both sides. And when you're done and they're dry, they literally just interlock. It's super easy. I do sell stands, additional stands. They're a dollar a piece. You can order them, feel free, whatever you need. But these are a little bigger. And so don't feel like every piece has to have a stand. Get creative. Like I'll use a mason jar and I'll lean something up against it. I've even used little candles, like voltive candles. And lean them lean, you know lean a piece of wood up against that this way the stands don't take up a bulk of my tear tray and i can like use it for other things so that's just a an easy tip the last thing but the best part of this kit are these three little pieces of wood you have one wider one and two thinner you will paint them and when they're dry like i said use your box you can lay this wider piece of wood down take one thin piece of wood and run your glue along one edge of this thin piece of wood. Line that thin piece of wood up to the wider base, to the very edge, as close to the edge as you can possibly get. Hold it for about 10 seconds. This glue dries quick and it dries strong. So just, you know, be a little patient, hold it, honestly, probably about 10 seconds. Flip it over like this and do it again. Take your glue, hold your yeah, run it along the edge here put it as close to the edge as you possibly can and hold it you're gonna see that space you can see that gap right here you need that gap and when you are done where did i put my thing here it is this is what you have it's just a little base and then these Scrabble tiles come painted and engraved. So again, super easy because you do not have to do anything at all with them. 
and they just sit in your Scrabble board. Isn't that literally the cutest thing? Why do these little things make me so happy? I don't know. All right, guys, that is all. I've kept you long enough. If you um, have any questions, always, always feel free to message me. If you paint this and you love it, please post it and tag the studio or send me a message so that I can see your masterpiece. Thank you guys so much for all of your orders. Have fun with these. I swear people find them therapeutic. I, I do. They're just, I don't know, they're addicting. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. And if your kids went back to school today, enjoy it. All right, bye.